There we go. Happy Friday, everybody. It is time to cook dinner. And this is only my second time going live, so I'm still trying to work out all the kinks. Uh, speaking of kinks, sorry about my hair. Um, trying out this <laughs> bringing back the half ponytail kind of thing from like 1992. That's okay. It is keeping the hair out of my face and showing off all of my beautiful flyaways and baby hair. So like, let's bring those back in too. <sighs> Camden just turned on the TV. Um, why Camden? I'll go get it. Thank you. Um, when he knows I'm recording, he, he does all the bad things. So don't mind me if I have to go off screen for a little bit. Whoa, that is not helpful. That is not a way to be helpful. We don't try to pull things. Yes, Mama. No, we can't put on me, Mama. I'm sorry. You want to cook with me, Cam? Oh, Cook with me, Cam. All right, I've got my Sky Sky here who will help me with some camera work if necessary. I decided to bring you guys along while I'm cooking a really casual Friday night dinner. I shared on Instagram the stories the other day. Okay. No! Can you turn off the TV? He turned the TV. Sure. Or I think I might have done that. Um, lately, we've been cooking a lot of whatever we can fix with our pantry and fridge ingredients and then whatever's on sale at the store. I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but things are getting expensive out there. We haven't even been out to eat in a while um, as much as we would like to go on a date night or something. It's just like everything is so expensive and I'm kind of having fun with the um, becoming one with my resourceful, um, my, my resourceful side. I don't know why I couldn't think of that term. Okay, so one of the things I've really enjoyed making lately that has really dressed up otherwise boring dishes, not boring, but just like kind of simple. One of the things I've really enjoyed doing is going into my hanging herb garden that I have in my backyard and grabbing a bunch of fresh herbs and making a kind of pesto. I mean, pesto is really supposed to be just basil, but if you are blending herbs with oil and some garlic, I leave out the pine nuts, they're too expensive. Um, but if you blend herbs, I mean, it really, it looks like pesto, it tastes like pesto. And when you mix in different herbs, it gives it such a nice extra oomph of flavor and depth. I mean, I could just eat pesto, basil pesto all day, every day, but throwing some other herbs in there is really fun too. Are you gonna, oh, are you, are you gonna show them the broccoli? Show them the broccoli. Don't mind him, he's not wearing any pants. Yeah, we got some broccoli. I bought broccoli a few days ago thinking I was gonna make it when I was making dinner for the kids when Andrew wasn't here. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make some broccoli on the side, I'm gonna make them eat broccoli. Um, and then I was just too lazy and I was like, I'll just save it for something else. You just keep, you keep um, touching that broccoli. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a pesto going. I have my oven preheated to, I don't even remember what I preheated it to, like 420 or 425, because I'm gonna roast that broccoli and I'm gonna make the rest of this andouille sausage that I got, Bogo. Mom, what? can I put that up? No, it's okay. Let me just, this is live, so let me just kinda, I gotta move through it kinda quickly. So this is the andouille sausage that I got Bogo at Publix, so technically this one's free, or you could say both of them were half price. Um, so I made dinner with this. It was really, really good. If you've never tried this before, it was awesome. Last time I made it, I chopped it up or sliced it up and I um, cooked it in the cast iron pan with some corn fresh off the cob. If you want a really good corn hack, go to my short. That is a corn hack. So good. That came out amazing. So I, I kind of wish I had corn, but then I'm like, but I have this broccoli that I don't have to buy corn if I use the broccoli. And I'm going to do kind of like a sheet pan sausage and broccoli roast. And then I'm gonna get some risotto or some arborio rice on the stove and make a risotto using some white wine. Let's not push those buttons yet. Let's not push those buttons yet, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna, I guess I can leave this out. Tell me when you want I'll tell you when it's time for you to move the camera. I, you wanna push the button? Okay, you have to wait a second because I gotta get the garlic, okay? What? Yep, I'm gonna take some garlic and probably just I'm gonna take like a medium sized clove. You really don't need that much garlic when you're making a pesto because it's raw, it's very, very strong. And if you are watching, I would love for you to tell me what you guys are cooking for dinner tonight. If you are cooking dinner. If you're ordering pizza, that's awesome. We're ordering pizza tomorrow at Skylar's birthday party. <laughs> She's requesting Pizza Hut. 
And I'm okay with that. I kind of love Pizza Hut. And that's coming from a New Yorker that grew up like the best pizza ever. Um, I also still really love New York pizza, but I also really like Pizza Hut. Deep dish or what is it called? I think it's called deep dish. Okay. I don't know. We have a Pizza Hut really close to our house. It's a very dangerous situation. Good thing we have no money. But we can't buy it all the time. All right. So you can't do that, but thank you. This is live, so I can't edit out all the um, not okay. fun parts of this. So it's going to be super nice. It's actually a really good thing. When I was a foster mom, I went live all the time when I felt like I am going to lose it on these kids. So no. let's go live so I know that everybody's watching and I have to handle things in a calm and kind way. Oh. So I am throwing it. No, that's the stem. I don't want to throw in the stem, but thank you for helping me. No. I'm going to throw in all my basil leaves, just pulling them off the stem. I just gave them a quick wash or rinse in them. Thank you. Why do I smell something? I think just all of my, the ghost of cooking past is like heating up in my oven. I did <sighs> spill some cinnamon sugar in the oven when I was making cinnamon swirl bread recently and it like burned all over the oven and I thought, oh shoot, I'm going to have to clean that. And then it just kind of like, it was cool because like every time I turned on the oven after that, everybody's like, oh, it smells so good in here. I'm like, yeah, I'm not making that, but... It's like, it's kind of like your, in, you know, unintended sensi in the house. Okay, I just threw two huge, I took the biggest sage leaves I could find because they're probably the most mature. I took those off the plant. My sage is like exploding. The one thing I'm missing from here that I really wish I could add is parsley. That's my only plant that I think I've just used, not too much of, but I, I use parsley a lot because you can really just put it on anything and everything. Uh, kind of like basil. Oh, no, 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 please don't spit. Um, 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 yes, mom. So anyway, I don't, I didn't, I have like one or two like parsley uh, no. sprouts left no. and I don't want to cut no. them because I'm afraid no. that the plant will stop producing. So no. I left those alone because I want to give it no. some time to regenerate, no. if that's the right word. I don't no. know anything about gardening terms. Okay, this rosemary no, no, is so no, beautiful. No, it reminds me of Thanksgiving no, 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 and just no, 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 fall and no. holidays in general. And it just really gives this pesto or this herb oil a really, really nice robust flavor. Robust is a fun word. Okay, I'm just gonna pull some of the uh, leaves off. I don't wanna use all of them. It's a very strong flavor. And time, I have so much time. I have no time, like time, because I, no, I have all these kids. But I have time, I have so much time, that if anybody lives close to me and wants some time, please tell me, or some basil, I have, oh, or sage, or, okay, I have everything except parsley. If you need some herbs and you live close by, you want to stop by my house, I will hook you up. And then you can make this pesto at home. I'm just pulling the leaves off. Like, really? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get some rice going in a little bit. Ooh. Is that all the time that I got? Okay. Can you not? Stay calm. You must train to be. While you're cooking. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Excuse me. Please stop hitting me. I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Can I have a kiss? I can't, I can't. You can't give me a kiss either? No! Can I have a kiss? I can't, I can't. Mom! Okay, sorry. Mom! Right, I've got my herbs in here. Did I put the garlic in? Yes, I did. Do not hit me. Yes, Mama. Mama? Thank you. Mama? Okay. I'm going to grab my olive oil. Don't touch anything. Didn't she say? Uh uh. No, I said don't touch. I'm gonna drizzle some. This food processor is like a really cheap, cheap yeah. rinky dink one. I I'm just haven't hungry. splurged on a really good one yet. Yeah. I used to have a really good one. I lost a part to it and it kind of was useless for a while after that, even though I made it work for years and we moved and I was like, oh, I'll just get another one and I haven't been able to do that yet. So I'm just gonna use this rinky dink one. Oh, did that scare you? I'm sorry. Uh -oh, Love you. You want to press a button? I know, it is really loud. Okay, hold on, stop. I gotta, okay. I'm just going to look look in a little bit. With a legit food processor, you could, whoa, you could drizzle this oil while it is chopping. 
that's ideal. No, thank you. When I put this top on, no, no. When I put this top on, you can, if I ever put this top on. What is happening? Right. No. Okay, I, I think that's on. All right, you wanna push the button? Okay, the top is not on right, that's why. There we go, okay, here we go. So loud. Pretty though. You could put toasted pine nuts in here, you could even put toasted almonds or toasted walnuts in here. I don't have any of those, I think I have cashews, but I'm gonna not do that. That actually might be really good. Should we put? Cashews in. No, if I were to put a nut in here, I would have put it in first. Chop it up. Because I don't want to bruise my herbs too much. Oh, that looks so good. I want to get some salt. And then we're going to stir in some fresh grated Parmesan Reggiano. Okay, press it one more time. I don't know what really works. You want to taste it? No, okay. Stop. I'm going to unplug this. Stop. I don't think I've ever. Stop. Camden? Camden. Oh, do you see a pretty light? Whoa. I do. I, I see a light reflection. I see it. I, I see it. I don't think I see. I don't think I've ever ate that before. This? Well, I didn't put it on. The last time I made it, I didn't put it on yours because I thought you guys had issues with it. Uh, All right. I'm just going to sprinkle a little kosher salt in it. I don't feel shy to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have let you put You want to put a tiny pinch? Here, put a tiny pinch of kosher salt in it. A little tiny, 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 tiny. No, just a tiny pinch. Yeah. Who's going to scream to death Okay, go ahead. Again? Good job. Thank you for helping. No, no. All right. No. Your turn. Go ahead. Okay, let's taste it. You want to taste it? Something you could also do in this is kind of, mm, maybe I want to, add a tiny bit of vinegar, like apple cider vinegar. Um... Rice vinegar you could do, okay. white wine vinegar, um, to make almost like a chimichurri taste sauce. It, the, the, taste it. Taste it. I'm not really interested. You want me to taste it first? <laughs> no, I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste it. It's really good, but why am I not I'm going to taste it. it. I'm going to taste it. Hold on. I feel I'm like it's not it. I'm as garlicky it. as I would want it to be. I'm a, it's a little garlic. I feel like I do want to add a little vinegar. It. If I'm not experimenting in the kitchen, I don't want to be in it. You will very rarely see me follow a recipe to a T or cook the same thing exactly the same way twice. Do you like it? I'm going to add a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar. Don't touch. Can you move that thing? Just a tiny little here. You want to help me splash it in? Tiny splash. There we go. Just a little. Which that? This is apple cider vinegar. It's gonna give it a little extra flavor. Apple tang. cider. Oh, apple cider is my favorite no, thing ever. Uh, That's it. Parmesan or regular, so I don't want to over salt it. You taste it. And I like it. You don't like it? I like it. I feel like it needs more salt. I don't just like a little it. bit. Martin. Okay, your turn. I'll just have the other stuff except this. It's good, like almost a little spicy from the garlic. It's so good. Ugh, spicy. And then. I'm not spicy. Done with that, and then we're just gonna stir in some Parmigiano or Reggiano. Mm. The mix of herbs in there that is fun and flavorful. Let me get a bowl. I don't know how they're different. Can I taste it? What the herbs? Uh uh. No. This is all done. 
Unplug. I gotta get my. Mom! Mom! Can you not scream, please? Mom! More what? Beans. Mm. Spicy. Mom! I get me. I'm gonna pour this in. That won't go on, buddy. You see that? Some green goo here. Whoa, that almost slid off, right off the countertop. Okay, that's going in the sink. Uh-uh, can you stop touching that? Sure okay, stop. That. All right, I'm gonna get my Parmesan Reggiano. This stuff stays good in the fridge for a really long time. Should I show them? So I always have some in my fridge. We put it on almost everything. All right, I'm just going to grate this over my bowl. You want to show them to get a little closer? Yeah, that's fine. With two hands, so it's nice and steady. Yeah, that's perfect. Right? Yeah. Okay, all right, you do it. Very good. Next time, I'm going to be in a position I can see and I'm moving it in the right Yeah, way. I know, I know. I okay, that's good, Cammy, and that's so good, Sky. We can I'm just moving. leave it like that. Good job. Yeah, I know you you would you had it in the perfect spot. Okay, can I just do it real quick? <laughs> He's holding my arm as I'm trying to do this. He's like, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I know. This morning I was making bread and he was like pushing my arm back. Oh my gosh. No. Me, mommy, mommy. Yes, mama. Mama. Mm. That's a lot. I gotta check if I have pesto in my teeth. What is Live. this? I want milkies. I want milkies. You want milkies? It's on the table. Yeah. I want to try. You want to try to do this? Okay. It's hard to do because it's a very hard cheese. So keep your fingers out of the way here. You want to stand on, on this. Try it. I just think it's like stand on Yeah. So keep, hold it from the top so you can keep your fingers on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't, don't stand on it. Here, just stand right here. Just like that. Yep. Yeah. You just go back and forth. Yep. Yeah. Very good. It's hard to do. Oh, very good. Okay, let me just do the rest. It's hard to do, especially because you tend to like press down a lot and then you don't want to spill the bowl as you're doing it. So it's like hmm, kind of a balancing see. act. I can't see. Okay, that's plenty of cheese. Plenty. Is that such a thing to have plenty of Parmesan cheese? Like it could always use more. There's no actual plenty in your mind. All right, I would love to know, do you keep real Parmigiano Reggiano in your kitchen at your disposal? For you, it's always not enough. I know. Look at that. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You gonna stir it? And herbs and vinegar and apple cider. Are you gonna stir it first? Well, oil, apple sauce, apple cider vinegar. I'm not really a fan. Whoa! Good job. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. You want to taste it? Taste it. Okay. Can I taste it? Can I taste it? Yeah. You want to do it with your hands? Go ahead. So good. Mm. I would be doing it if it was like banana muffin. Can you just taste it? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm not. Oh! My gosh. That is just disgusting. Okay, lick your fingers. That's how you'll taste it. Go ahead and lick your fingers. No, 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 don't touch anymore. You have it all over your hands. Lick. It doesn't. Do you like it? Don't like it. You don't like it? I thought, like, I thought oh, I can taste that rosemary. It tastes like Christmas. I don't like Christmas. <laughs> Did you say I don't like Christmas? I was about to say I don't like Christmas. I meant I don't like the taste of, of You don't like, she doesn't like the taste of Christmas. 
I like the taste of cookies. She likes the taste of presents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have pesto hands right now. Yeah. I'm just loving making this pesto for so many dishes because it adds herbs in such a fun way. It always looks so bright and pretty when you're finishing your dish, 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 when you're finishing your dish and you just kind of like drizzle it over. Oh, it looks so fancy and like restaurant-esque. All right, so I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Let me cover it with some wrap. Oh, thank you so much. And then we're gonna start. Oh, over here. Um, no, no, no. Uh, I gotta cover this now. I gotta cover it. Can and I then we gotta do. What? Can I no, no, I think they can see it totally fine, but thank you. And then we are gonna go over to our cutting board, and uh, I've already chopped up my. So I am gonna leave a spoon in there, just so I can use it again. So I don't have to dirty up a whole other spoon. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge, leave that till the end, or almost the end. The other thing I'm gonna do, okay. Tell me if this is genius or gross. I bought this feta cheese like a couple of weeks ago and it's still good because it's not growing mold, right? If it's not growing mold, then it's still good. Um, I just have like a little tiny rectangle of it left, but what I've been doing with feta is just, it's chunk feta, so I just take a little bit in my fingers, crump, crumple, crumble, crumble, crumble it up over a dish, and it is amazing. I've done it with the, the last sausage dish, dish that I made uh, with the corn, and it was so good and so pretty. Adds like a bright, it almost has that, um, what is that um, Mexican cheese? Not queso, it's like... Colorado. Queso guapo, no. What is that cheese? Queso anyway. Um, no. All right, so we're gonna get out a sheet pan and we are, oh, don't do that. You did that on purpose. Do not. Now there's milk everywhere. Look at me. Do not throw your milk or roll it off the counter on purpose, okay? Because it splatters everywhere. Mom. Yeah. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. And my battery's dying on my phone, so gosh, we gotta <coughs> hurry up with this dinner. Beep, beep. All right, let me tilt you this way and see what we can do there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get out a sheet pan. And I'm just gonna put my uh, washed and dried broccoli on there. Candy, can you put the broccoli on there? Put the broccoli on the help? sheet pan, okay? Can I help? Yeah. I'm gonna get my sausage out. Oh, you know what I wanna do also? I wanna get my rice going. While you guys are doing that, And I know that I got it because stop, stop, Camden. I talked about it in my Camden. grocery haul. No, no, Camden. Just no. let him, Skyler. Just let him, unless he's doing something unsafe or super disastrous. Okay, I need to organize my pantry. Where is my chicken stock? I've got a situation here. Right after I said we had to speed things up. Okay, and I'm looking underneath. Literally, can't that's what it. you. That's how you can play with him. Oh my gosh, it's right here in front of my face. This is live TV, everybody. The chicken stock is right here. I mean, I couldn't have scripted that better. That's really embarrassing. So I have four cups of stock here. I'm just gonna do two cups of rice. You can just rice. Turn the camera away. When you make risotto, you want to use arborio rice. Arborio rice is short grain rice. 
It's so short and fat and cute, and we love it in risotto. You stir it constantly while you're cooking it. It develops all of that creamy starch, and by the end, it'll actually look like I added cream to the rice, but you don't need cream for it. It's just the starch of the rice actually naturally makes it creamy and so good. Less talking, more cooking. So, um, hmm. Technically, you want to use a shallow pan for risotto. All of you Italians, don't get mad at me. I'm not going to make it in the most perfect way. I'm going to make it in the most no, delicious no, no. way that I can do with all of the chaos going on. And I only even have half of the no, chaos, no. so it's like not even yeah. that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to bring them over here while I get this started. Maybe, I think that'll work. Yeah, yeah. Little dandy dandy thing here. All right, so I'm gonna put two cups of. Simon's just like going to town, arranging that broccoli in like yeah. a broccoli mountain. That's what, that's Whatever what, is keeping them happy, as long as it doesn't end up on the floor. That's that's what babies do. That's what babies do. When you give babies All right, broccoli. They play with it. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to chop up. It's hard to. Um, careful, Kim. I'm gonna chop up some onion. Can you get me the butter? Can you get me a stick of butter out of the fridge, please? Stick of butter. Okay, I'm just gonna melt some butter and chop up some onion. I haven't made risotto in a really long time. If you really wanna be fancy, you would use a shallot. Oh, that's fine, I have plenty more. Oh, the broccoli fell. Okay, put it back in. Um, yeah, you can throw that away. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of butter in there. You can put that back. Thank you. I'm going to chop up some onion. Can you just keep an eye on him for me, hon? Good job, Cammy. Just keep arranging that broccoli in different arrangements. Whatever keeps you occupied. Yep. I'm going to fine chop this up. Yeah, you don't want to eat the raw broccoli. I mean, some people like it. Ew, he's eating it! It's okay. If you want to eat raw broccoli, bro, eat raw broccoli. Okay, just don't put it back in the plate. Again, this is, this is kind of like country risotto. Like, I'm just... Don't put it in my I had the arborio rice in my pantry, so it didn't cost me anything to make this. I'm not going to cry, Did you put it back? No. I probably only need about half the onion, but then I would be wasting half of an onion. So I'm not cooking. Mom, I don't know if there are any solutions to this. Oh, that's the sausage. Yeah, so. I, I don't know where he put that broccoli here. Oh, it's fine. It's just our family. It's okay if he nibbles on a piece of broccoli. Yeah, I'm just really impressed. It's actually like staying kind Not of just nibbling, not on sucking. Side. Sucking on it? That's extra flavor. Yeah. So I'm just going Definitely. to... Cook down these onions a little bit in the butter. Then I'm gonna add two cups of the rice and cook that in the butter, coat that in the butter, and kind of what you'd call toasting up the rice a little bit. And then I'm also gonna get my chicken stock in a pot so I can warm it up. Careful, Kenny, make sure you keep it all on the sheet tray, okay? Oh, bro, a broccoli! Oh, the broccoli. Oh, is that the piece that he was sucking on, hon? Is that the piece that he was sucking on? Wait, what? what? Mm. With risotto, you want to add yeah. hot stock as you go. So I'm just going to put this up on a... Good job, Cammy. This is going suspiciously well. Chicken stock. Except for that part where I couldn't find the chicken stock. I'm not touching it. Chicken stock. I'm still not touching it. Chicken stock and... I was, I was thinking to myself earlier, like, what if I do this and I'm right in the middle of it and Cam gets a diaper? Like, obviously not going to take you along for that. That's disgusting. Um, I was like, can I have Skyler like entertain you for a little bit? And I think Hooray. I'll probably just have you like sing them a song or something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm not singing live. I'm 
I'd rather do it on the video just in case they never watched well, it. Well, we'll see what happens. Camden is still massaging the broccoli. Cammy, you're doing such a good job, dude. Such a good job. Okay, now it's my turn. Jaina and Andy are at camp. Act two. Act camp. two. Don't know and why. It's they not that I don't there. miss them. It's just that it's been a great week. I'm the influence. The influence? What do you mean? I take care of Camden. Well, mm, <laughs> I would say in the in terms of like who I take care of Camden. You are help. You are helpful. Good. Jaina is definitely like Crazy. the superstar, helpful big sister. You are just yeah. like the easiest yeah. child. Yeah. To yeah. have around. And just, a, and just a matter of um, not having all the kids in here. It's like not having all the fighting because okay. Skylar and Camden don't fight. Okay, why don't you focus Camden... on... Okay, I'm focusing. My goodness. All right, I'm going to put my rice in. You don't want the phone to die in the middle oh, of the Oh, yeah, my phone's going to die. She's right. Okay, so I've got, got one cup. Point. It already smells amazing. Two cups. Shh. I'm going to toast up that rice. A and then I'm going to put this right a back a in here. And there's more reason to watch. Oh, the broccoli fell. Can you go get it? Okay. Hoping that heats up pretty soon. The first thing I'm going to put in this, I'm going to salt it up a little bit. Chop, chop, chop. I know what I want. Swap, I know what I want. So I've got butter and onions and arborio rice. The doctor, the this is really hot because I'm holding over here. Said to the man, run the so when I'm talking to them, it's really important. But if you want to say something, you absolutely can. It just can't be while I'm talking. Okay, I didn't okay. know that. I thought you, you said did that. know that because we've well, talked about it before, right? Well, I was at least giving, singing a song. Yeah, but you were singing it while I was talking. So let's try not to do that. Okay, Cameron okay, is still massaging the broccoli. Now can I do it? I'm still rocking the half ponytail. Mm -hmm. It's like... Wait, who's a ponytail? Like, look, the half ponytail. Oh. I kind of do that in your hair. It's like, it's kind of like a little, little kid hairstyle, but oh. whatever makes me look younger these days, I'm about to turn one year older. We will not say what year that is. It is between the ages of 25 and 45. Come on, you don't have to give that hint. You can just... But unfortunately, not exactly in between those ages. Can I please sing the song now? Well, sure, sing a song. The duck fucked up to the lemonade stand and said to the man, <laughs> come on. Sing. Sing, girl. The uh, duck fucked up to the lemonade stand. Sing for the camera. I, I can't. There you go. Here. There we go. Sing oh, for the camera now. Now, the duck dropped up to the lemonade stand and said to the man, run the stand. Hey, got me grapes. No, I don't have any. Okay, that's great. <coughs> Back to the Papa. risotto. Right. But I love grapes. Kim, Kim did like ripped that's apart all the broccoli. Oh, We're having broccoli mush for dinner. It's just, it is what it is. The it is what it is. All right, I have toasted up my rice in here. The next thing I'm going to do before I add my hot chicken stock, I'm going to put in this. I love these, these little mini bottles of white wine. No, it's not the best white wine. No, it's not the fanciest, but it is an individual bottle portion, so you don't have to pop open a whole bottle just to use a glass of it. That alcohol is going to cook out as it cooks. Oh, it smells so good already. I'm gonna get a ladle ready for when I want to ladle my stock in. Just don't touch it. Oh, is that a knife right there? Yeah. And the trick to risotto is no thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Just, Sky, that's not helping. I want Bob Bob Bob. You want to sing? So the trick to risotto is, number one, you really have to babysit it. Number two, you add the liquid in stages. So with regular rice, you would just pour in the liquid, put the cover on, and simmer it until the rice is done. For some reason, it looks pink in the camera. What does? Oh, I think that's hot. Yeah. 
told you. Everything's okay. He's not anticipating that. I don't know why that happened. It is heating up in here. Can I show them? I show them? No, I think they can see just perfectly. Yeah, because it's... No, that's me. All right, so my... Wow, it really spilled. No, Cammy, Cammy, no, 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 no. Oh, you can play with that now, because there is just hot chicken stock all it's over really my stove top. It's here. And it smells, because it's burning. Ew, ew, ew. Oh. All right, mayhem in the kitchen, and it's not even caused by the kids. Yeah. See, I blame you guys because I'm trying to chat with you. All right, look, my rice has kind of absorbed all that white wine, and it's also kind of cooked the alcohol part out and just left the flavor. Mm. The top is screwed onto the rice, so Camden is using it as some maracas, and I am a-okay with that. Now that our chicken stock is obviously hot and boiling, I turned off the heat of the stock. I'm going to turn this on like a medium-low, and I'm going to start ladling in my stock. I mean, really, you just need like one ladle at a time, but I'm not gonna like super babysit this rice because I have distractions, if you haven't noticed. And then I'm also gonna start chopping up my sausage to, all right, I'm just gonna kind of let that sit. And well, I guess I'll just chop my sausage right here since there. you're already hanging out here and then I can babysit my risotto. Ready to go. Risotto. Oh, it smells so good. There is nothing like the smell of risotto. Absolutely nothing like it. The is white that... wine cooking with that starchy rice, the aromatics, yes. aka the onion that I put in there. What is that? Oh, it's already absorbing that liquid. And as you stir it, it releases all that starch, gets creamy and thick. Look at that. Have you ever seen rice look like that? It ain't just rice. It's Definitely, I saw nothing like that. All right, I got this crazy looking sausage here that I'm gonna throw on my cheap tray. All right, that liquid is pretty much absorbed, so I'm gonna throw in two more ladlefuls. If I had just the risotto to do and no distractions, I'd probably do one ladle at a time, but that ain't the case. I don't know why I keep saying ain't because you tend to say bizarre things when you're either live or have a microphone in front of you. Or twitch your eye on camera. Or you might twitch your eye on camera. I don't think you can do that on purpose. I think that just happens. Whoa, I almost just chopped. I almost dropped the sauce. All right, so let's- I can let's... twitch my eye on purpose. You can. Okay, so this is what Camden did. He massaged the broccoli so much hey. that all of the little leaves on the tree started falling off. I would highly recommend that you not do that, but if it happens, it happens. You are doing such a great job. She... No, I can't open it because then the rice is going to go everywhere. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, she's allowed to be there. Twitch your eyes. If you would like a turn, you have to say, Sky, may I have a turn, please? Thank you, Sky, for letting him have a turn. All right, I'm just chopping up this sausage. I don't know if... Oh, gosh. I don't know if it, um, the cook time for the sausage and the broccoli is going to be exactly the same, but I don't care. I'm not going to put this in a pan and the broccoli in the oven and this on the stove and that on the stove and that in the food processor. I'm not making it... Careful, it does look like a hot dog. Here, you want to put it on the tray? Go put put it on the tray for me. With the broccoli? Oh, no, d yeah, with the broccoli. Yeah, I was just telling them that I'm actually gonna I cook it you. all together. Yeah, you can help. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw some oil in there. All right. All right, now no fingers, so I'm gonna chop up the rest. Watch out. Nope, I gotta chop it up. Fingers away. Okay, so. No, no. Grabbing him? and pulling him is not a safe way to do it. Number one, he almost fell off the stool. Number two, what does that make him do? When you do something that makes him think it's wild behavior, he's going to get wild. He will resist, he will try to fight it. Then he's going to try harder to put his fingers 
near my knife. Do you understand? So when I need help, you approach it calmly and kindly, okay? I love you. You're not in trouble. I just, it's really important when it comes. To, oh, you want to put the sausage on? Uh -oh. Okay, can you do that without putting the sausage everywhere? All right, I think I'm done chopping, so I'm going to. Oh, whoa. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. This one fell on the floor. Looks fine. Mm. All right. Great. Oh, gosh. Yeah, thank you. I will be the TV. All right. Some more stock going in. Oh, my gosh. This pan is stuck to the pot is stuck to the... please don't touch that please don't touch that okay I want to taste this and I don't remember if this is salted or unsalted I think it's salted oh my gosh it's so good it's got that perfect risotto flavor it's so good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. What? what do you want? You can't have that. You are not allowed to play with that. You broke it. It's already half broken. All right, so I'm going to just oil this up a little bit. I want Dada. Huh? I want Dada. You want Dada? Daddy will be home probably in like 20 minutes. All right, I'm just going to oil this up. Okay. You want to do it? Okay, thank you. Should have let you do that before. I love them. All right, then. Just going to salt it up just a little bit. The oh, sausage is... All right, I'll let you do it. it. Okay, go ahead, just a tiny bit. Just to get the broccoli a little salt on it. Go ahead. Good job! Then I would love to add like a little bit of spice to the broccoli, but the kids will go nuts. So I'm just going to leave it. Do I want to add a little lemon oil? Nah, I'll just leave it. Just want to get this in the oven. All right, so can you see this? Yeah, you can see it. All right. Here we go. I just kind of, now Now this is the time where you actually I'm do that, want to massage I'm the broccoli. You want to get that oil all over the leaves of those trees. Yeah. I've got my oven at 425. It's going to crisp up really nicely. Probably take about 10 or so minutes in the oven. The um, sausage will also get nice and brown. I'm hoping the sausage won't overcook while the broccoli is cooking. We'll see. Hopefully if it doesn't work out, my phone will lose battery before you'll see. And then I'll just be like, oh, it came out so great guys. Sorry, I missed it. All right, here we go. Gotta wash my hands now. They're all oily. No, you don't need to take a tub. You already took two tubs today. Okay. You already took two tubs today. So I'd love to know, have you ever tried to make risotto before? 
If you have, how to come out? If you haven't, do you think you'd be willing to give it a try after watching this? And if you have any questions, I think you can type them in there and maybe they'll pop up. I don't know. It's only my second time. Or you can email me at motherrabbitskitchen at gmail.com. I don't know if you can send messages through YouTube. I don't know. I'm also on Instagram, Mother Rabbit's Kitchen. So you can DM me any cooking question or parenting question. Not that I have all the answers, but I can probably say, yeah, I've been through that too, and this is how we dealt with it and how it came out. See how creamy this is getting? Oh, sorry. It's so creamy. So different than regular rice. And a lot more high maintenance, but it's worth it in the end. Oh my gosh, so good. So I set the timer on the oven for 10 minutes. I'm hoping it'll be that everything will come together. Even as long as I've been cooking, I still have anxiety of like, when several things are going at the same time, it's like to time them perfectly and to know how long each of them are going to take to cook so that they're both ready at the same time. That's why I love things like the make ahead pesto. It's like, I get that out of the way, that's done. So I don't have to worry about that being ready on time. It's ready. Um, the feta cheese sprinkling on top, those little fun things that you can add to the end that look so fancy, but it didn't require any extra anxiety. <laughs> it's just adding fun and flavor. I don't know why I don't cook this more often. Actually, I do. It's <laughs> because it's high maintenance. But it's so good. I really need to cook it more often. No! What's wrong? No! What's wrong? No! Okay. He doesn't want to talk about it. No! No! Okay. No! Okay. Anybody else in the middle of toddler life right now? I love him so much, but oh my gosh. Out of the four. By far the most difficult toddler. He's taking my furniture and sliding it across the living room. My antique furniture, by the way. Not like my Target furniture. Not that I have Target furniture. Not my Ikea furniture. Not my Wayfair furniture, my yeah. antique furniture that I got. Oh, why'd you do that? Don't do that, buddy. Was there anything else I wanted to ask you? Yeah. Sometimes I come up with these things and I'll post yeah. them on my Insta story and then I'll have to go back to my story and say, wait, what did I want to do? Because I'll have all these crazy ideas and yeah. then I need to make sure that I don't leave anything out. So I've got my rice that I'm going to top with yeah. the sausage and broccoli or rice. It's yeah. Sorry. Look at me. Yes, mama. Andrew is picking up Jaina and Andy from camp right now. We've got a great little system going. The best thing about summer camp is they don't come home with any homework because that is the hardest time of the day during the school year is that hour. Oops. Oh, 10 battery left. I think we can do this. The hardest time of the day is that hour after school where the kids have all of this pent up energy from kind of being in the classroom all day and they have homework and they're hungry and I have to make dinner and they start fighting because they haven't seen each other all day. So it's not like, hey, let's play together. It's, hey, let's play together, but actually let's fight while mom's trying to cook, while I should be doing my homework. So the hours <laughs> between after school time and dinner are so stressful. And I haven't really figured out like, okay, one way that I have lessened the stress of it is, is my snack hack, which if you are interested in learning more about that, go to my snack hack video. It's only like two minutes long. So that has made things easier. But in terms of 
Moving into a bigger house made things easier, kind of, because I can send some of the kids upstairs. Now that three out of the four will be in school this year, I'll have three kids with homework and one almost three-year-old running around. And when Camden is alone all day and so excited to see him come home, he just wants to play and rough house, but I'm trying to like do homework with the kids. I try to give them like 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so of just like hang out, go play outside, go run around upstairs, whatever they want to do so they can get out their energy. They can kind of eat their snack while they're doing that or before or after. And then we try to get the homework done. I'm at a, finally with my girls now that they, they just finished second grade and third grade and they were pretty independent with their homework this year which was amazing because I would say like the kindergarten and first grade years are the hardest so far. I, my oldest is nine, so she's going into fourth grade. But so far, the kindergarten and first grade years are the hardest because they get homework, but they need assistance pretty much with the whole thing. Speaking of difficult school and homework time, when COVID hit and we were, everybody was quarantined in the country and in the world pretty much, um, Jaina and Skylar were halfway into kindergarten and first grade. And while their school did this amazing program, like all of a sudden they like came up with this like online school and obviously had no idea that they had to do that. So with like little to no time to repair, they just came up with this amazing online school where they were actually live with their teacher and their classmates the entire school day. So we didn't have to switch to like, online learning where like I was homeschooling them kind of thing, but because it required a four, a five-year-old and a six-year-old or just turned six-year-old um, to be on a laptop all day, it was so tough. Technical issues, Camden was only four months old, so I was nursing him. I'd be like nursing him off camera while trying to help with technical, technical issues on camera. Um, and then I also had Andy who had just turned three. So we were stuck in the house. So I couldn't even take him on walks. I couldn't really even take him outside. Maybe I could take him outside just a little bit. What's wrong, lovey dog? What's wrong, come here? Did, he, did something happen? Did Sky Sky do something? That doesn't sound like her. That's looking really good. I'm just gonna pump up the heat on that. Scott, I want this to kind of like go faster. I don't know, maybe 450. And I'm gonna put the timer on for me. Come here, lovey dog. Look, look at the rice. Camden has been sick. Yeah. Oh, you wanna start? Yesterday he woke up randomly, showing no symptoms the previous night. He woke up yesterday morning with this, what we call in our house, I don't know where it came from, but we call it a donkey cough. If you think of what it would sound like if a donkey coughed, that's what his cough sounded like. And he just coughed a few times and it was like, ooh, that doesn't sound good. And like a little bit of like that wheezing sound. What's wrong, lovey? Oh, speaking of wheezing, I forgot to give you your chocolate. You did such a good job with your penguin. No, a small one is good, just one. So, of course, I was oiling him up and praying over him and hoping that it would just kind of go away because I don't want to take him to the doctor and get him antibiotics and expose him to all the other germs that are going to be in the doctor's office. So, he, and he was acting totally normal. No other symptoms, no fever, no runny nose, nothing. So I let it, just watched it. We hung around at home and then I put him down for a nap. When he woke up from his nap, he was crying for me. And I think just like the, um, all the excitement of like crying for me, he got himself into like a place where he was wheezing so badly that it almost sounded like he couldn't breathe. And I was like, I'm taking you to the doctor right away. It was so good. I'm going to need to add some more stock. Good thing I was buying one, get one.
All right, I'm not gonna go to the trouble of heating it up because it's really just finishing it off. The cheapskate in me is tempted to just finish it with water because I didn't want to open that and not be able to use the whole thing, but I could use it for another dish. Stay tuned for what we're eating on Sunday and Monday. Well, actually, we've got Skyway's birthday party tomorrow, Father's Day stuff going on on Sunday. So possibly Monday. No, not Monday, because that's actually Skyler's birthday. So I'm sure we'll do something simple. Pizza, she loves Chinese food, so we might do Chinese food for that. Oh, that's looking so good, woo! Might burn my eyelashes off though. So anyway, um, we just changed pediatricians. There's one right down the street from us. We've only been there one time for my girls' well checkup recently, and they're, they're, they seem really good. But they took Camden right away. Um, I brought him there and he was, he was fine. He wasn't like, it wasn't an emergency situation. It was just like a, okay, I do need to get you checked out by a medical professional and not just kind of go with my mother, mother's intuition. So took him there and the nurse practitioner said she wasn't, well, she didn't say she wasn't concerned, but she didn't seem very concerned. She said, I would call that mild wheezing. She immediately started kind of giving me all the prescriptions that she was gonna write for him. And I get really nervous when they start just like throwing like the cookbook prescriptions at you. Um, and I don't wanna question them, but I'm like, okay, can you explain like why they need all of this? And so she was really patient with me because um, she was prescribing albuterol through the nebulizer, which doesn't really make me nervous, but then like a steroid, which makes me nervous. And then an antibiotic, which makes me really nervous because we all know that you shouldn't take an antibiotic unless you really need it. Now I'm thankful for antibiotics because if you really need it, take it. But if you don't need it and you give it to your body, you're basically teaching your body how to resist the antibiotic. So I asked her, can I hold off on the antibiotic since he has no other symptoms? Let's just see how like it goes. And she said, yes, she said, but his right ear looks a little bit red. And she said that she feels like he's about to start a fever. She said, if he starts a fever, just give him the antibiotics. And I said, okay. So we kept an eye on it. And he, again, he was acting totally fine, but um, by the end of the night, he started like running around with Andy just for a few minutes and he was wheezing again so badly. I was like, forget it. I'm doing all the treatment. So I got out all the prescriptions. I, I held off on the antibiotics for a few minutes and I was texting with my mom, like, what do I do? And she was like, just give it to him. So when your own mother's intuition kind of is shaky, call your actual mom. So you have like double mother's intuition. And she said, just give it, oh, Sky, can you turn off this penguin, please? All right, I gotta take my broccoli and everything out. My broccoli and my sausage out. This is just... So all that to say, and on top of all of this, of course it was a day that Andrew booked a gig with his friends to leave straight from work to go down to St. Pete and... Mom! Stop! Throwing it, just pick it up and put, put it up here so I can monitor it. The nebulizer is really cute, it's a pink All right, I gotta take this out. All right, thank you. Um, can you put it um, high up in that closet? All right, out, it's hot. Oh, it looks amazing, look at that. Hold on, I gotta get another. Camden, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, excuse me. He is destroying the house because he knows I'm busy cooking and chatting. I'll be right back. Excuse me, do not knock lamps over in this house. Yes, mama, thank you. Do not. Sky, could you read him some books, please? Sure. Olympic. Um, no, not a big. He likes the, the Elmo. Go do Elmo with him. Come Sky's gonna do Elmo with you. No, he just took my huge it's floor lamp and just like knocked it over. He has never done that before in his life. Is there a bug? That's okay. There's no bug. So dinner is pretty much almost ready, but half of my family is still missing. So, so yeah, Andrew was gone until really late last night. So it was just me and four kids panicking about Camden, trying to like pay attention to the other kids and not yell at them for existing because like 
you know, when you've got something so worrisome on your mind and then your other kids are like, mom, can I have this? You want to be like, no. Nah. I was just about to like, I'm just so used to doing this with my husband and the kids like blowing on it and letting them try it. Oh my gosh. Do the risotto dance. Um, with risotto, you can also finish it with some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, just kind of grate it in, stir it around. I'm not going to do that because I have the Parmesan in the, maybe my portion, my portions were wrong on, my proportions were wrong on this. I'm pretty sure it's two times the liquid for the rice, but I also spilled out a, a little bit of the liquid. Okay, so let me show you this broccoli and sausage situation. All right, listen, if the phone dies and you don't get to see the finished product, I'm gonna make a reel on Instagram where I put it all together and taste it and tell you what, you, what I think and tell you what you think too since you don't really get to have an opinion since you didn't taste it. But it is social media, so you do get to have an opinion. You know how everybody has an opinion on social media? The good thing about being a channel that like nobody really pays attention to right now is that nobody's really saying anything mean. Although I will say that I post some shorts sometimes that are just like totally helpful. I don't know how you could not like it. Maybe you don't love it. It's not like, oh, I want to watch that over and over. But like, if it's not your thing, just like move on and watch somebody else's short. But I actually sometimes get like the dislike button on my shorts and it's like, oh, I'm sorry that I gave you a tip on how to cut corn so that it doesn't go everywhere. My goodness, people are so funny. It's like, why did you have to click the dislike button? Just like move along. You have to let me know that you disapprove. Yeah, people are crazy. So let me show you this. So that actually cooked really nicely together. You can see kind of the browning on the broccoli. That's crispiness, crispy leaves, like a fresh fall day. And then that smoky and dewy sausage smells so good. And I tried not to dirty up too many pans. I don't think I'm gonna need more liquid for my risotto, let's see. Do you see how creamy this risotto is? I mean, that is not rice. That is risotto. And I don't really know how to say that properly, but I think I'm doing a better job than some people who actually do have Italian blood. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It is perfect. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna let it sit on the heat so it can just absorb the rest of that liquid. It is that perfect al dente where it still has a little bit of bite to it but it is tender. You guys, do you see how creamy that is? Whoa, it's dripping. <laughs> My half ponytail is so embarrassing. Whoops. Mm. Oh my gosh, Andrew's gonna freak out. He tastes this, he loves my risotto. A little more salt. A little more salt. got to refill up my kosher salt. Sometimes things that I do in the kitchen, I've been doing for so long that I don't think it's like a tip that anybody would actually care about. But then I remember, well, there might've been one time where I didn't do this and I would want somebody to tell me about it if I didn't know. So big thing in the kitchen. And I also didn't grow up this way. So I think a lot of people who grew up like me and didn't have this kind of kitchen in their house, um, might benefit from a tip like this. I, I learned about it in culinary school. What? Okay, Camden? Camden, say yes, mama. Thank you. There is something all over my floor. It looks like a blueberry. What was I saying? Oh, my tip. Okay, so obviously when you cook, you have to salt your food, you have to season it. So, do I hear people coming in? Um, you have to season your food. Do not get out your canister of table salt and start pouring things in 
that is really dangerous. You could severely oversalt your food. And then what are you going to do? That's not good. So you want to get kosher salt. I'm actually going to grab it because I got to refill this. You want to get kosher salt. Now you do want to have table salt in the house because that's really great for baking, for measuring when you measure salt, like tablespoons, teaspoons, whatever for your baking or for bread making. You definitely want your table salt for that. But kosher salt, look at the coarse grind on that. I always keep a nice full ramekin of kosher salt right where I'm cooking so that you can pinch it it stays in your fingers, you can control it. If I'm done, I'll just put it back or throw it over your shoulder if you're superstitious. I'm not, so let's put it back. You can really control it. You really become part of your food instead of, you control your food instead of letting the food control you. I'm gonna taste this again since I just seasoned it. Again, look how creamy that is. And it was easy. If I can do this while talking to you and wrestling my children and picking up furniture that Camden has thrown, wow, we've been cooking for over an hour. Crazy. Can't believe my phone has lasted this long. I wish you could taste this. It is so perfect. And think about how few ingredients that required arborio rice. It's a little more expensive than regular rice but it lasts forever. Use what you use, put it in the pantry. It's there when you need it. Chicken stock goes BOGO all the time. I don't really have a favorite brand of chicken stock. I try to get the more high-end brands, but really if something goes on BOGO, I'm buying it. And then white wine, like I said, those white wine bottles are perfect. All right, I think I'm gonna just start plating this because Andrew and the kids are gonna be home really soon and I want you guys to see what this looks like. Okay. So I'm gonna take this. Why is this not, there we go. Let me bring this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to, for lack of a better word, plop my risotto on there. Probably should grab a different spoon for this, but I'm just gonna do that. Look how pretty. Make a little soft pillow for all of these beautiful things. And then I'm just gonna drop some broccoli and sausage right on top. Oh, that sausage has crisped up along with the broccoli. Look how pretty that is. I'll be honest. I love broccoli, but broccoli is not as tasty as corn. When I made this with corn on the cob, it was so good. But the broccoli is crispy. It's fresh. So I'm just going to go with it. What do you guys think? See, with the corn, the pesto looked so dazzling because it kind of contrasted with the yellow of the corn. So I'm just going to grab my, my pesto and my feta. I hope everything's okay with Andrew and the kids. I have my phone on, do not disturb. Oh, but I think if you were to call me, it would come through. Okay, so how should we do this pesto? Should we kind of like drizzle it around the sides? That might look really pretty. You could also add just like a little bit more oil to it to loosen it up. So it like drizzles a little bit more than it spoons. All right, look at that. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of go, look at that. I'm just kind of decorating the rice, the risotto. Do you see how pretty that is? Okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this feta and start crumbling it up. All around. Is that pretty or is that pretty? And it cost me, I don't know, like almost nothing to make it because of all the 
leftovers I've used of all the uh, BOGO deals, like that second half of the BOGO deal that I used. Already had the broccoli, already had the sausage, already had the feta, already had the rice, already had the wine. All I really needed was the chicken stock and that's it. Did I get anything else but the chicken stock? Here. Do you see how pretty that is? Can you handle it? Do you want to make it? Do you want to eat it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to plate up the rest of this food. Hopefully the rest of my family will come home and we can actually eat. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This is my first live cooking video. If you like it, please click the like button, leave a comment and tell me what you liked about it. If you hated it, just move along. Don't say anything, don't do anything and hope to see you back here soon. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Bye.